from the studios in Bentonville, Arkansas. You're listening to Ethan Walton's Retail Supplier Podcast. Each week, we discuss the issues facing Walmart suppliers and bring you solutions from industry experts. Visit us online at ethanwalton.com if you have questions about today's podcast. And now your host, Jared Davis. Thank you for tuning into our podcast this week. I've really been looking forward to this week's show because we're covering a topic that we get several questions about from suppliers each week. You know, whether you work for a large Walmart supplier or even if you're an independent seller on Walmart Marketplace, you already know that online sales, that's that's a challenge all on its own. Now, You might be struggling with growing those online sales, or maybe you're thinking about launching a new product next year, uh, knowing about how Walmart Connect can work for you. Maybe you're thinking about getting on walmart.com for the very first time in 2024. Well, today's podcast is going to cover all of that. Our guest today is Michael Labar, CEO of Cellcord. Now, Michael and his team at Cellcord help Walmart suppliers grow their online sales, optimize their product pages, uh, help out with tools like Walmart Connect, and much, much more. We're going to jump into the details with him and learn more about how he can help your business this year. So, Michael, let's get right into it. Great to have you on the podcast, sir. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Michael, before we talk about Walmart Connect and then get into the whole marketplace platform, tell us a little bit about your background and how you support Walmart suppliers at Cellcord. Awesome. Yeah, I'm Michael. I've been a supplier on Walmart and a 3P seller on Walmart for years. Kind of realized, you know, how fast Walmart.com was growing and 1P suppliers were having a really hard time adapting with Connect and all the 3P competition. 3P suppliers were having a really hard time really navigating 3P and how, you know, how it's different than other marketplaces kind of realizing how most solutions out there weren't focused on Walmart. Some people had add-ons for that. And so, you know, we were exclusive Walmart focused agency and solution provider. Um, We're close partners of Walmart. And yeah, we have a array of products to help actually be an extension of brands team. So really understand kind of where their pain points are, what they're trying to do, and then be a really efficient, scalable system for them to help them grow on Walmart. So we help everything from listing optimization specifically for Walmart to product launches, to helping with 1P, 3P hybrids to, um, you know, one of our biggest strengths, leveraging Walmart Connect and scaling Walmart Connect. Um, So yeah, there's like unlimited amounts of, you know, changes constantly happening with Walmart. So we like to be the first to understand them and adapt to those. All right. Very good. So let's dig into Walmart Connect for a second. For any Walmart supplier not taking advantage of Walmart Connect, how should they be using it to grow their business? Yeah. So I think there's a few key ways to leverage Walmart Connect. And I'll start by saying, before we're leveraging Walmart Connect, make sure your listings and catalog are structured really well. It's going to affect your Walmart Connect performance in a really large way. But I think it's really important to understand what your goals and what you're trying to get out of Walmart Connect. And based on that, there's different ways how you should leverage it. So number one, one of the most beneficial scalable ways is like just growing your sales incrementally. I think with Walmart Connect, if that's your approach, there's so many different placements. So uh, I often times hear from brands like we're already ranked in a top position. The interesting thing about Walmart is that when customers search for keywords before the fold, so before they scroll, they don't even see any organic spots most times. So it's really important, like you're not even showing up to a lot of customers unless you're in those placements. But then there's also those sales in these other categories. So I'm showing up in other categories that are similar to you on buy box placements and on all these different sort of placements. Um, There's so many ways to drive extra sales. Now, the second thing is product launches. We see it as the most efficient way for product launches. You know, you might see you, you launch a new product. It's just not getting the visibility you need it to. Walmart Connect, from our experience, has been the most efficient way to get the traction it needs, get the momentum it needs. And from there, you know, once you have your organic placement, you could scale back your Walmart Connect. But we see it as the most efficient way for product launches. So that's really kind of the second way. And then, you know, brand awareness on Walmart Connect, I think, is really powerful. Um, they have so many programs. Now they just launch video ads. Now they have brand shops, which you don't have to pay for, which you could create a bunch of catalogs within there. So I think there's a lot of opportunity there. And then even display, you know, it used to be with Walmart Connect, you had to have a large minimum to run display campaigns. They just launched display self-serve. So at no minimum, you could run a lot of these campaigns. So I think there's just, there's so much opportunity there when you're building your brand and you're building your more top of funnel strategy. Michael, we may have suppliers listening who are thinking of getting on Walmart Marketplace for the first time in 2024. What are some of the strategies you recommend to help them succeed? Yeah, so I think when brands are expanding to Walmart Marketplace, I think a few key things to understand is, first of all, 
make sure that you understand what's currently going on in the marketplace. So who you're competing with, the type of listings you're competing with, the type of products you're competing with, so you could position your product properly. I think it's really important to make sure your content is structured to be optimized for Walmart. The worst thing you could do is just plug and play your content from other platforms and just hope that it does well. Um, and there's a, a lot of guides. Walmart has style guides, which actually tell you how they want their listing structured. But they also have what I like calling like a gamified system called listing quality score, which will tell you how well your listings optimize. So I think you want to pay attention to that, but also just to you focusing on the right keywords, you're optimizing your listing properly. Once that's done, I think one of the biggest things is really understanding the programs Walmart has available. Walmart has so many programs and we oftentimes see brands that have like no success on the marketplace and then they leverage these programs and all of a sudden they're really able to scale. And I think, you know, one is obviously Walmart Connect, which we spoke about. But and the different programs within Walmart Connect. But another one is WFS, Walmart Fulfillment Services. It's, you know, one of the biggest levers brands can pull. You know, Walmart clearly says, like, if you're leveraging Walmart WFS, your conversion rates are going to be better. But also, you know, your products are going to be ranked higher. Your Walmart Connect spend is going to go further in most times. So very important to kind of understand that program. And it's growing so quickly with new capabilities. Um, we see a lot of success there. And then there's a lot of smaller programs. Like Walmart has campaigns where they drive a lot of traffic to, you know, what they call mosaic placements on their homepage and flash deals, which are special deal pages. I'm um, really understanding those that become available, understanding they're, de you know, now they launch brand shops. Um, so understanding, you know, leveraging that um, and just getting familiar with their programs that they're launching to kind of help sellers. Now there's a tool within marketplace. that's actually like a business kind of consulting kind of, where it'll tell you the things you need to fix. Um, and, you know, just pay attention to those things. And as long as you, Give it that level of attention, you'll see a lot of more success. A lot of brands that you're going to be competing with on the platform are just plugging in the listings from other channels and not giving it the appropriate attention. So the way I look at it is a lot of these changes and programs to be successful on Walmart, six months after they come out, it's going to be like a necessity. So you might as well do it early where you get an upper hand advantage by doing it. So that's how we approach it oftentimes. I know you and your team at Cellcore do a variety of things to help suppliers optimize their pages on walmart.com. What are some of those best practices that you give to Walmart suppliers? Yeah, so I think a few things. So number one, Walmart's algorithm is mainly based on conversion rate. So they really care for, you know, what the conversion rate on your items are. So you really want to, you know, make sure that your listing structure. So when customers see it, they click on it. When they click on it, your page is good enough. So they add it to cart. And I think a few things you could really think about for optimization. Number one, no brainer. So if you start at the, at the front of the channel, so it's like they search a keyword, they see your product, you're going to want to make sure that it shows fast shipping and it shows reviews, right? Because that's going to be what gets the click. Walmart has called something called review syndication, which is a free syndication program. You could apply to it and you could sync your reviews from other channels, um, from your website onto Walmart. So like, that's a key thing you're going to want to do. When it comes to actually writing and optimizing your listing, before you really write your listing for Walmart, it's really important to understand the keywords that drive the volume on Walmart. I think brands too often, you know, have an idea of the keywords that drive the traffic. So they use that, but Walmart shoppers shop different than shoppers on other channels. And the, the keywords have the volume are sometimes different. So, you know, really try to look into what keywords are bringing the volume and, you know, make sure when you're crafting your listings, you're putting that in mind and make sure you're crafting your listings to be driven by high content quality score, that they match Walmart style guides, but also that you're including a lot of keywords in there. You're including things in your listing that are going to help you show up for a lot of different keywords. You might have a really high listing quality score, but it not necessarily mean, doesn't necessarily mean your listing is optimized to capture all the keywords and be um, ranked really well. So that's number two. And number three is like, tell a good story on your product page. Obviously you want to leverage your images, but Walmart has enhanced brand content, which you could host. Cell phone hosts enhanced brand content. And, you know, you could have enhanced descriptions. You could have comparison charts to send um, sales to other items of yours. And there's a lot of things you can do to help really tell that story. Once you're getting the customer to that page, you want to do everything you can to get them to convert. So that's um, something powerful that we leverage. Well, I've got a link to Cellcord in our podcast description, but Michael, I want to talk about what a Walmart supplier can expect when they finally reach out. When, when you're a supplier and you decide, man, I really need help growing my brand on walmart.com and they, they come to Cellcord, what kind of support do they get from you and your team, let's say in that first month or so? Awesome. Great question. So th the way I really look at this is that there's so many different brands on the platform and different brands have different goals, right? It's not like every brand's goal is to grow their sales. Some brands want to grow the sales. Some brands want to grow their sales with a certain amount of profitability. Some brands are having challenges with their 1P, 3P hybrid solution. Some brands want to launch 3P. 
So for us, the way we operate is really, we're not an ad agency, we're your Walmart partner. So like we like plugging into your business, understanding where you could use support, where you want to grow, and then building strategies with you and helping execute them. So, you know, I always say like, I want to make sure that we're helping you save your team's time, be more strategic and grow at the same time. So to say, you know, we like to understand the business and from there plugging into it. Um, oftentimes that means you know, helping assist with the listing optimization and the catalog structuring and the strategy behind that. And then moving into how do we scale the account from there? How do we scale your strategy from there? Is it leveraging Walmart Connect? Is it leveraging some other programs Walmart has available? Um, what do those look like? Um, analyzing those and really helping brands succeed in that way um, is a really big way. And we work from everywhere from big direct to consumer or Amazon brands that are expanding onto Walmart to brands that are legacy vendors for Walmart that have been there for decades that are now having some of the newer challenges or want to grow or want to, you know, be just as competitive on the dot com channel as some of these leading dot com sellers. So we have an array of brands that we work with in that regard. And I think there's yeah, there's so much opportunity and the brands that have kind of evolved quickly are just seeing so much benefit. All right. Well again, if you have questions about anything you've heard on today's podcast, I've got a link in our podcast description to Sellcord where you can find out more about growing your brand and growing those sales on Walmart.com. Michael Labar, thank you so much for joining us today, sir. Thanks for having me.